Hi folks, in the previous episode I was starting to build the motor driver for my sliding gate replacing the existing one which was feral. My idea in that was trying to use cheap building blocks available from China that I can replace anytime something goes wrong. I had several problems in the field test. The motor was not running, the indicator lamp was not blinking, I had a stupid wiring problem and there are some more to come. Let's check these problems one after another and see how I solve them. So about the motor problems. First I was wondering whether the H-Bridge motor driver is working well. That is what I wanted to sort out first. I don't have a 24 volt motor so I use a 12 volt DC motor instead with a 12 volt power supply. I have some nasty setup here for the pins and if I enable the forward you can see the motor is working and the driver is working perfectly. I seems to have two stupid copy paste bugs in the software. So after I fixed it, this time I created a small setup here. Now everything seems to be okay, let's test the motor on the bench. Next on, the indicator lamp was not blinking, but the test setup doesn't show any problems here. It turned out that there is nothing wrong with the lamp, but inside the lamp there is a, a 555 circuit that makes this blinking. So I need to make some more measurements and uh, I would like to eliminate the circuit board here so that I can control the blinking myself. My next problem was that at the control unit circuit I have fused the ground, which was theoretically okay, but it turned out that inside the h bridge motor driver the ground is not separated, so the fuse didn't make any sense. So I have modified the fuse to let the positive wire being fused and the ground is always connected. I really do like these prototyping boards because you can modify your circuit in case of any troubles. When you create a prototype like this, the most important thing not to shorten the terminals because it will blow up fuse and in worst case blow up other things like the transformer and things like that. I like to use these small Arduinos because it's very cheap and if you screw up something then you can always throw away and put another one in place of it and you can easily upload your software in it with this uh, serial interface. In the software I've set up uh, debug points where I can monitor the working of the software. So here I set up in this Android tablet a serial monitor and I can view the actions happening here. So here I run my tests and simultaneously I will watch the debug window here. I will not go details in that because it's quite complicated logic here. But I can see that it's working now. Now everything was tested on the workbench, but in the field test the motor still failed. The problem was this age bridge is not capable for more than 27 volts and uh, when rectifying 25 volts AC input that will be about 33 volts DC so this bridge just can't handle that and would fail. My idea here was to replace it with a bigger one that can handle more volts but uh, unfortunately I couldn't find any on eBay so my second idea was to use this is the DC converter to convert that 3.3 volts to, I don't know, 26 volts. I had this very cheap one which just couldn't handle the power of the motor. So I've ordered this bigger one which will hopefully work. My next problem is how to fit this thing inside the case because I was not planning to put any other components in this. So let's try this. So I'm in trouble here because all the places are already occupied. This is the remote control switch and there is no place to put this thing 
anymore just too big With some major modifications I could manage to put everything inside the case. So this is the high voltage and mains circuit with the bridge rectifier. The DC DC step down converter was mounted in the side of this cooler. This is the H bridge. This is the processor and the other circuits. And this is our newest part. This is another DC DC converter that will convert 33 volts DC to 27 volts DC. I've prepared two softwares. This first is just a test software when I push an end stop switch and it will start the motor. Another end stop switch will turn it another direction. This is mostly for measuring the rotation of the motor with the software itself. This is my second setup. You can see the actual software running here. I will handle this with the remote control. So I start the opening of the door. Now the end starts hit. I start it again. The end stuff release. The other end stuff will hit. And the nice thing to have rotation feedback is that I can accelerate and deaccelerate before hitting the end stop. So I start it again. This is how my test software works. I use the install switches to operate the door. And this is how the actual software works. I will operate the install switches by hand right now, not to cause any catastrophic errors. still need to adjust the speed of this thing. The hardware the sliding gate seems to be okay. I'm not satisfied with the layout how it turned out because of this uh, DC to DC converter. I didn't expect it that so it's a little bit messy here, these Lucy wires. I still need to do some software refinement with this acceleration and deacceleration. For example, I do not have the photo gate installed at all because I don't have the software for it right now. <coughs> I still need to worry about the physical influences here because it's uh, in the sun and uh, it gets a lot of moisture here, so we will see. Thank you. 